Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today I am doing a collaboration with two women that mean so much to me. The first one is Debbie Knobloch, which I will link her channel up here and in the description down below. You guys know Debbie, I know you do, but if you don't, please go subscribe to her channel because she's amazing. She does all kinds of beautiful makeup looks, she does hauls, she does swap boxes, she does try it Thursdays with her son Tanner, and it's amazing. She has such a beautiful family. I am so lucky and so blessed to call her my friend. and my sister because we are like sisters we're like twins so um and then i have a friend that i met a few months back her name is brie her channel is purple pink red and those are her favorite colors in that order so um and she has got to be one of the most genuine and kind and down-to-earth people that i know she does a lot of beautiful neutral eye looks and um, I will link her channel as well in the cards and in the description box down below and please go show her some support She deserves so many more subscribers than she has both of them do their channels are growing But I just want to help them because I just think they're both so amazing So please go check both of their channels out and Brie is from Australia and we met fairly recently, but um, it instantly connected and so I knew that I wanted to do a collaboration with her and then we decided to do a three-way collaboration and so that's what we're doing here today so um, we were talking about it and as you guys know I do not do a lot of neutral looks myself but I always like to challenge myself and I always like to do something different and lately I've really been enjoying them so I realized that I have never done a bridal look on my channel and I figured that why not do it now it's perfect it's that time of year you know that weddings are really popular and so debbie and brie and i are all each gonna do a wedding look so i know that there are different types of weddings i know that there are different traditions in terms of what colors to wear and how bold and bright your makeup is supposed to be or how neutral your makeup is supposed to be um today i'm gonna go off of just a basic traditional like white gown you know neutral makeup type of makeup look so that's what I'm going to be doing today if you guys want me to do any other kind of wedding in the future let me know um I think that that would be really fun to do but that is what we're doing today so the two palettes that came to mind when I decided to do this was um I wanted the first well the first palette that always comes to mind when I think bridal look is the Deuce palette from Juvia's Place. So this is what it looks like. And this is the color story on the inside. Now for me, for my wedding, my colors were pink and chocolate. So that has both of these in it. So if I wanted to go that route, then I definitely could. So I pulled this out. I also really like using this shade as blush, this shade or this shade as a highlighter. Um, so we're gonna work probably out of this palette today but I also kind of really want to use this palette this was a gift from my bestie here on YouTube Allison Krauss I'll link her channel um, she sent this to me this is the Royal Affair palette from BH Cosmetics and I have never used it look at all those beautiful neutral shades like that is a beautiful neutral palette you know what I mean it kind of reminds me of certain aspects of the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills sultry palette so um, I was thinking about dipping into this a little bit, especially for this silver called High Tea. I think silver is a really pretty color for um, bridal makeup, so I don't know. And believe it or not, I wore very neutral makeup on my wedding day because I wanted people to see like me and not just be like, oh, here comes Anya with her, you know, here comes Anya's makeup walking down the aisle. So um, I just chose to do that, you know. Now looking back, I don't know, sometimes I wish I would have worn like a big, you know, crazy makeup look, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't, but who knows. So um, we're going to be working, I guess, out of these two palettes today. I don't know how many shades from each palette, but let's get started. So I'm going to use my, should I use my, yeah, I'm still going to use my MAC paint stick. I was trying to think if I wanted to switch it up and use concealer instead but 
Nope, I think I'll stick with my MAC paint stick. So I don't really have a lot of white clothing, so I'm wearing just like a baby pink instead because that is the one thing that, well, yeah, that's like the one thing that if I could go back and I, I loved my wedding dress, don't get me wrong, I loved it, but it was very classic and very like simple. Um, and I think that if I could go back and wear a different dress, I think that I might choose like a p light baby pink, like so light baby pink that it's almost white, um, like Cinderella style dress. But when I look at my wedding photos, I, I absolutely love the dress that I did choose. It's just, you know, sometimes you see another dress here and there and you're like, oh, that would be so pretty. <laughs> So, all right, so I just patted that out a lot, and now I look crazy, but we're used to that. So, I think I'm going to go, I'm trying to think, I have no idea what I want to do. I think I'm going to take the shade Rain from the BH Cosmetics palette. It's this, um, in the left bottom hand corner, that really light shade like my skin color and I'm going to pop that on the brow bone so let me know down below if you are married did you wear a lot of makeup for your wedding or no makeup for your wedding or neutral makeup for your wedding like what kind of makeup did you wear and what time of year did you get married? I got married June 7th, and I actually had two weddings, um, which I think I said I was gonna talk about eventually in a video, so why not this one? So um, I got married in June of 07, and pretty young, uh, I mean, not too young but young and um when I got married we decided we well we'd been talking with my parents and with my husband my mother-in-law and I'm gonna go into the shade cream or creme this one um we had been talking about venues and like where do we want to have the wedding and all this stuff and no one could make up their mind and they kept changing their minds and we even booked a venue and then canceled it. And so I told my mom, kind of as a joke, kind of serious, if, you know, we don't come up with, a, you know, a plan, then guess what? We're just gonna get married in Vegas. And sure enough, the plans changed again and we started planning a wedding in Vegas. So we got married in Vegas the first time, but when we, and I'll get back to that in just a second, but when we told uh, my mother-in-law that we were getting married in Vegas, she was like, no, you can't do that. I already have family, you know, that's bought tickets and they're coming and you have to do something here. And so we had a second wedding at her church here and I wish that she would have suggested that to begin with because um, it, that ended up being a really beautiful wedding as well. And I would have just done that if that was an option that was presented from the beginning. So anyhow, the first wedding that we had in Vegas, we had uh, my best friend who passed away, my brother, um, and like three or four of our other friends came neither none of our parents came none of our family came um and we had our wedding ceremony at like a little chapel it was like not one of those cheesy like elvis weddings there's nothing wrong with those but that's not what it was and then we had a really nice reception at the monte carlo my best friend planned the entire wedding the night before my husband spent the evening um with my brother and I spent the evening with my best friend and we um, <clears throat> sat in my hotel room and we watched scary movies and I was having of course trouble sleeping per usual. <laughs> um, I wasn't nervous at all though about getting married and then we you know got married and they actually live streamed it 
um, from the chapel, so we were able to give people the code to watch the people that couldn't come. And um, so we had that wedding, and that was really fun. And in Vegas, every casino kind of has... Um, I'm going to go into the shaped prints now, this one right here. Um, every time that we would go in and out of the casino at the hotel, there was always this nightclub because at the time, Beatles love um Cirque du Soleil was in our hotel we stayed at the Mirage and they had like this nightclub there called oh gosh what was it called it had something to do with the Beatles oh I cannot remember the name of it I'm gonna remember at three in the morning maybe I'll remember by the end of the video but um so we had this nightclub revolution that's what it was called Thank goodness I remembered. And so, um, we were, we always looked at it and there was this bouncer that was letting people in that had like the biggest, most beautiful mohawk. I love mohawks. Um, <laughs> and he, you know, was standing out there and he would try to get people to come in. And I asked him, I was like, well, how much does it cost to go in? And he said a hundred dollars per person hundred dollars per person okay no thank you so now I think I'm gonna go into the shade regal which is like a combination of a chocolate brown and like a burgundy shade just a little bit of that to deepen it up just a smidge more and um, said okay well thank you and then the day we got married we were coming back and I was in my wedding dress and my hubby was in his tux and we had the wedding party with us and the guy with the mohawk was like hey hey come here and we ran you know walked over and he said yes and he said do you guys want to get go in and i was like oh no a hundred dollars a person and the thing is is our reception that we had had at the monte carlo for our wedding didn't have like a dj or anything like that like it was just a really nice dinner so um when he asked us i was like mm, no you know it would be fun but and so he was like, no, 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 I'll let you guys in for free. So I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called Chocolat. And um, so we got in for free. And they let us, they give us like free drinks all night. And they also, um, you know, let us all in for free. Like nobody had to pay, which was awesome. But it was because we were in our wedding attire. And when people would see us through the window, you know dancing and having a great time in our wedding attire they all wanted to come in so um when we got when we went in there the place was almost dead but when we left it was like full so we stayed there until probably like three or four in the morning just dancing and having fun and it was really it was a lot of fun and then we stayed in vegas for a few more days and then we went to Jamaica for our honeymoon, and then three days after we got back from Jamaica for our honeymoon, we had our second wedding, and um, that was at my, my mother-in-law's church. I'm going back into Creme, and uh, so we had that wedding as well, and that was really, really beautiful. It was very nice. Um, my mother-in-law is Korean. And so we had a half Korean, half American wedding where like I wore my traditional, you know, white wedding dress to the ceremony, but then I wore a hanbok to the uh, reception, which is like a Korean dress. And then I, um, we had like a, like a lot of really amazing food and it was a lot of fun. And I had a bigger wedding party then. Um, and you know our our friends and family were at that one so that was nice and yeah but no second honeymoon i feel like if we had to get married twice we should have been allowed to have a second honeymoon right no. um but i would like to go back to vegas at some point again because when we were there because there were people there that were just there to see us um we couldn't necessarily do everything that we wanted to do we kind of did things as a group so i think it would be fun for an anniversary to go back there 
and yeah and my hubby and I met um, when we were young we've known each other for most of our lives so um, and then we kind of went off to different schools and you know did our own thing you know like as in college and stuff like that and then we met again and then we've been inseparable ever since so that's my story about my two weddings okay so I think I do want to do a cut crease I think this is a little more um, <clears throat> more dramatic than I thought it was gonna be even though this is still gonna be pretty neutral for me but I'm just gonna take the Makeup Revolution concealer and just kind of do like a little half cut crease so let me know something anything about your wedding down below if you're married or if you're getting married anything you want to tell me okay and then I'm just gonna tap that out with my finger Sophie I don't know what you want girlfriend I don't know why you're crying she is looking at me, crying, and I don't know why. Probably because she can't reach me. Because she's she's over there with her little bone and her toys. So, what are you crying about? Who knows? Okay. So, I think the first shade I want to go in with is Puffs. And then I'll probably do Tarte in the inner corner. So, this is Puffs and this is Tarte. So yeah, so both of our weddings were really nice. They were both different. Um, you know, you can't really compare the two, but I love them both and I don't regret having them both. So that's why I say like, even though I say that, you know, I would have done just the wedding um, at my mother-in-law's church, like I still, you know what? I did not use glitter glue. What is wrong with me? I'm going to put some on now. Um, even though I would have done just the wedding at my mother-in-law's church, I still am happy that we did the Vegas wedding because we had a lot of fun. And it was nice and small and intimate. And the second wedding was much larger. Not huge but larger than like 10 people, so. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna go across the entire lid with this shade. I'm still gonna put the other shade in the inner corner, but I love this shade. This is one of my favorite, like really, really light shimmery baby pinks. Although I am gonna put a little bit of glittery goodness over top of something part of this eye look. I cannot wait to see what Debbie and Brie do because, you know, everyone's interpretation is going to be totally different, which I think is really cool. I'm going to take a little bit of custard, which is like that shade and then that shade mixed together. So creme and custard, just kind of mix them together. And I'm just gonna define that just a little. But yeah, the, I pretty much wore like, um, like a light pink eyeshadow. I think I only wore like one eyeshadow, which is cr just crazy for me to think about now. I think eye looks are so much more complex now that I am so into makeup. Like I was talking to somebody about this. I don't remember who it was. I think it was Kaylee Wesley. Yeah, it was Kaylee Wesley. I will link her channel up here if you don't know who she is. Check her out. Um, we were talking and I, she was, I was telling her, I said, you know, um, I said I always try to do like a really soft look and even if it's like with bright colors I want to do like a soft look 
and I feel like I almost can't because I get carried away and she was like I have faith in you you can do it I'm gonna try one of these days I don't mean like this kind of like I don't mean a neutral look I mean like a soft but colorful look so I'm gonna try it at some point okay so let me go off camera, do my base, and then I will be back and we'll finish off the eyes. Okay, so my brows are not twins, or even sisters. I don't know, maybe they look okay. Actually, I think I kind of like them. I used the Urban Decay eyeliner today because I always use um, a brow pencil and I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go into the shade Tarte. That's what I, not, I mean, I know it's called Tarte, but for some reason I was reading it <laughs> differently. So I'm just going to take that and put that on the brow bone, and then we'll put that in the inner corner as well. And I'll probably use it as my highlight today. I just want to kind of run that along the brow bone. But yeah, the liner that I used is kind of like a purpley one, and so I think it goes really well with my purple blue hair so um and I put my hair up because I well technically for my wedding I wore half up half down um but that's only because my the day of my wedding even though it was in Vegas like Vegas has dry heat so it was not hot like it is where I live, where it's like humidity is like crazy. But if I was to get married where I live now, I would definitely wear my hair up because if I got married in the summer. That's the one other thing. If I were to, um, I, get, I don't want to say get married again because it's not not what I'm talking about. I'm going to go into the shade Crepes, which I actually used as my bronzer today, this shade right here, and I'm just going to put that under the lower lash line. But I mean, like, if I had, like, if I would were to go back, I guess, I would probably, I would want a wedding in the winter or the fall. No, the fall. That would be perfect. I think fall weddings are so beautiful. I think there's something beautiful about every season for weddings but I think a fall wedding would be really fun too so if you got married in the fall let me know now I'm going in with the darkest shade and I did put a little tiny bit of black liner any black liner will do um, just in my waterline and I'm just kind of smoking that chocolate brown along the lower lash line. Did you guys have a good 4th of July weekend? Did you do anything? Or I guess it's after the 4th of July weekend? Yeah. Um, I'm going to take this Slay All Day Setting Spray in Watermelon. I've never used this scent before. Oh, that does smell like watermelon. It actually smells like a watermelon alcoholic drink because it's, um, it's not like watermelon juice. It's more like watermelon alcohol. I think probably because it has alcohol in the setting spray. Um, okay, so now we're going to go back into the, the Deuce palette and I'm going to use this, sh there we go, this shade right here. I'm like, not the chocolate brown. I am not highlighting with that. And then I'm just going to put that. I think this is one of the prettiest shades of eyeshadow as a highlight. And especially for a wedding. Like a baby pink would be really cute. I don't even think I... Did I wear highlighter? I don't even remember. Gosh, that watermelon smells good. But I feel like I'm going to be smelling like a watermelon, like margarita all day. Because with the coconut one, lasts all day. So I have these um, 
glitter, not liners, eyeshadows, crystal fusion liquid eyeshadows from Koki um, that they sent me a while back and I haven't used them. And I wanna use one of them today, they're like toppers. So I have the shade, oh my gosh, I don't even know. Oh, Supernova as my choice. Of course, you guys aren't here to tell me and help me with my choice, but um, I have the shade Aura. And then last but not least, we have the shade Supernatural. And I mean, I have other shades, but these are the ones that they sent me. I mean, these are the ones that are pink that they sent me. So we have a choice. I think I'm going to go with no, it's between Aura and this one, Supernova. I think I'm going to put a little bit of Supernova on. It's like a very metallic, almost like a lilac with like a pink shift. I just think this one will be the prettiest with this eye look. I'm just going to tap it. Yeah, it just kind of amped up the shine of that lid color. Because the lid color is already beautiful. But these Koki Cosmetics um, liquid eyeshadows, I, I'm actually going to do a video with them. I have one in particular I want to do a look with. And <clears throat> I'm going to compare them to... Um, the Milani Hypnotic Lights and the Stila Glitter and Glows. I feel like these are almost a little bit more liquidy. Sometimes that makes it a little bit more difficult to work with them, but they're really pretty. So, um, but I haven't worn them for like long periods of time, so I don't really know if they're ideal for like long lasting. So now I'm just going in with that same shade tart that we used for our highlight and I'm just putting it in my inner corner. This is definitely not the most neutral bridal look but I still think it is a really pretty bridal look and I'm just going to amp up the highlight a little bit with my Fenty How Many Carrots. You guys know how I feel about this stuff. I just think it amps up any highlighter. And then for my lips, I don't know what to do. I was going to do, I think I'm going to do my Cinderella um, lipstick from ColourPop. It's just a beautiful pinky nude. Yeah, I think this is perfect. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of this one. I know that I own other pink lipsticks like pink nudes but not quite like this one and this one even though it's a bullet lipstick it actually lasts for a really long time I feel like you could get married and you know have your ceremony and everything part of your reception maybe only have to touch up once I could put a gloss on top of it but I think I'm going to leave it as is so let me spray my face one more time and then we are done and ready to get married. And I put on this beautiful, um, very tacky, <laughs> it's from Leah Sophia, I think, but okay. So we are ready to get married. I think we are, right? So this is the final, um, bridal look. Let me know what you guys think. Would you wear this to your wedding or would you prefer something more extravagant or less extravagant? Let me know down below. I want to talk to you guys in the comments. I love you guys so, so much. Please make sure that you go check out Debbie and Brie and subscribe. Let them know I sent you. Show them some love. And as always, I'll be watching them while you guys are watching this. So I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.